Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I will show you how to create this cool looking text stretch effect in Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna prepare it in Adobe Illustrator. Um, yeah, this is really easy to do. It's a really fun effect. So let's just jump into it. So start by opening up Adobe Illustrator and create an artboard that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you're working with a 1080p video that is, and hit T on your keyboard so we can start typing. I'm gonna type in impact. I'm using Roboto Black and I'm just gonna center this. So go to the align panel and boom, boom. Now I'm gonna copy this. So I'm holding option and I'm holding shift and I'm dragging it up. Now click this word again and go to object expand. Boom. All right, now when we hit A and when we select the bottom part of the word and we wanna stretch it out, I'm holding shift while dragging it down. You see the A looks screwed up. So we have to fix that. So zoom in a little bit, hit command R to see the rulers, hit command Y to see the outline and let's add a guideline to the center of the word. So just drag from the ruler to the center of the word like so. And now we have to add some anchor points to the A. So press the equal or plus button on your keyboard and add a little anchor point over here. Add an anchor point over here and maybe one over here. We don't actually need that, but uh, just to make sure. And now before we're gonna stretch this out, this is very important, select it and copy this. We, we still need it in After Effects. So hit Option, hit Shift and just drag it to the side to copy it. Now when we select the bottom part of this letter, you can see we can just stretch it out like this. But if you've missed a anchor point, you can hold shift and you can just click it to add it. And you can, while holding shift, click it again to unselect it. All right, so hold shift and arrow down to stretch it out. And let me just add another guideline to this. And now let's stretch out the other words as well. There we go. All right, and now finally the C and the T. Make sure you have all the right anchor points selected. And again, hit shift and arrow down. Boom, there we go. Now hit Command Y again to see the result. This is how it will eventually look and this is how it will start. So that's pretty much it for all the work you have to do in Adobe Illustrator. So now from Adobe Illustrator, hop on into Adobe After Effects. You won't need any plugins, but I will use Ease and Wiz. The price is pay what you want. So if you want to support these guys, type in 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I don't know. But if you're, if you don't have any money, just type in zero and you'll get it for free. Let's start by creating a new composition, going for a 1080p one. The duration, nah, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna go for 20 seconds right now. Boom, let's create a new solid. So right click, new solid. 1920 by 1080 pixels is fine, press OK. Now go back to Adobe Illustrator and remember this one, select it and press Command C. Go to After Effects, press Command V and bam, there is impact. Select all of the masks, so hold Shift and click on the last mask and now click on this arrow 
and let's create a keyframe for the mask path. And now just go to one second, go back to Adobe Illustrator and select the stretched out text, hit Command C again, go back to After Effects and on this new location hit Command V and make sure all of these masks are still selected. Boom. And as you can see, there it is. That's the animation we're looking for. So that already looks pretty awesome. But now let's start adding the ease and whiz effect. So select all of these keyframes. Go over to the ease and whiz panel. Easing, expo is fine. In and out is fine. All is fine. But make sure curvaceous is checked on and hit apply. All right, so uh, let me select these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And let's just drag these to the front a little bit. And let's see what happens. Boom. Isn't that magic? Man, that was so easy to do, but I really think it looks awesome. Of course, from here on, you can spice it up with some extra effects. Um, I've already made a small example of how you can do this. As you can see in this example, when it stretches, it changes color. And there's also a turquoise background flying in. So what you have to do is, let me break it down for the uh, impact word. I've added an effect called fill. You can find it under the effects tab. It's under generate and there it is fill. And what you have to do is create two keyframes. So one has the turquoise color and the other keyframe has the white color. So as it stretches, it changes color. Pretty awesome. And the final thing I did was add the background. So all you have to do is create a new solid uh, give it a nice color and then just create two keyframes for the position. So one keyframe has the background out of the screen and the other keyframe has it on the right position. And of course, I also added ease and whiz to it. So it looks kind of smooth. And finally, it looks like this. I really hope this was useful for you guys. Please play around with it yourself. Have fun with it add some extra effects, add some extra dimensions to it. And please like, please subscribe, please check out my other tutorials. If something is unclear to you, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.